Let's get into our second dramatic topic of the week. MSI was accused of scalping their own RTX 3080 inventory. They, well, actually, let's let's go through this in chronological order. Yeah, I, I have an interesting question for you on sure. this one, but hit me. I, Why don't you we, start with that? We should maybe go through the. Okay, you you did an all MSI PC, and the sponsorship just so ha I'm assuming it was a sponsorship just so happened to be right now. Is that legit? Yes. <laughs> it's like they're, it's, so it's like how like, does that feel <laughs> it's like they're trying to make me look bad yeah when, okay can i ask when, when was that yeah. agreed to oh man months ago like yeah at yeah least, okay. <laughs> okay maybe not months but definitely weeks multiple weeks like we've so had the well, parts on well hand yes we've had the parts on hand for a while like oh, unbelievable. So I saw I saw that tweet go out and I was like, okay, I know this for a fact was not like a knee jerk thing. There's no way this was planned out like a day or two ago. This must have been way in the past. But now they're stuck with this project. So oh, man. the good news is that I was right about the MSI scandal. So what happened oh. was it broke on Reddit that uh, I think it's called like MSI. No, 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 no. What's it? What's it called? They didn't actually put any notes in here for me on this, which is yeah, just says talking points. Pretty, pretty annoying. So I think it's called like Starlet Starlet Partner Seller or something like that. Is is what it's called on eBay? Starlet Partner. And I don't know if you guys know this, but MSI stands for MicroStar International. So um, Starlit Partner has a long history of a long sales history. They had like 1,500 reviews with pretty with a pretty high rating. And as far as anyone could tell, they only sold MSI products. And so it looked as though these this was like kind of an MSI um, like the MSI eBay store MSI eBay store like sell direct to, to customers kind of eBay store and they, they're not the only ones that have done something like that but what people were upset about was that MSI had RTX 3080s listed there for like double the MSRP so around 1500 US dollars I mean that's the price of the RTX 3090 if MSRP which I guess no one cares about anymore is anything to go by so people got mad because they were like, hey, you know, the messaging from NVIDIA is like, we're trying really hard to get these cards into the hands of gamers at the price that we said they were supposed to be. And then you got partners like MSI running around selling them for apparently $13.59. Uh, $13.59 was what they had it listed for. So that is a little less than double the price. Sorry, excuse me. I'm correct. I'll correct myself here. Um, so people were understandably outraged because you know here is everyone else in good faith trying to get these cards into the hands of real gamers instead of scalpers and here's msi profiteering off of this extremely allocated card all right so as this was blowing up i had a conversation with uh, i don't know if i don't know if he wants me to talk about who it was but i had a conversation with a buddy of mine in the tech space and i was like look Here's my, here's my hypothesis. Here's my theory. Um, I think this is probably just, I think it, this is real. So there was some initial uh, doubt about whether Starlet Partner was even MSI. Um, so everyone was like digging into like trademark registrations and all kind of stuff. And I was like, ah, this looks like MSI to me. It smells like MSI. It looks like MSI. It's probably MSI. And as it turns out, it was MSI. And then from there, uh, there was, oh, right. So as part of the process, this uh, this friend of mine called up Starlet and was like, this is weird because, okay, I could believe it's MSI from like uh, from like the kind of things they're selling and the their long history of existing and all that stuff. Um, they're good rating, for example, but it was weird because I like called them and it was it just went to like some guy's voicemail and I was like, all right, I'm once again going to lean on my experience working for a computer. <laughs> it's hard to it's hard to classify in CIX because on the one hand, they're like a small time, like hole in the wall computer store. But on the other hand, they peaked at like 200 million dollars a year revenue and like 250 yeah. employees. But they never really outgrew that attitude. So I was like, okay, let me share a little anecdote with you from my time at NCIX, because here's my theory. I think the eBay team pretty much just like somehow got their hands on some of these and were like, 
wow, this would look really good on our PL report for the month. Um, so for those of you not familiar, PL is profit and loss. And typically, if you have a small team working on kind of a weirdo side project like that, they would have some kind of KPIs that they're supposed to hit, like, you know, oh, you need to move through X number of dollars in dead stock a month, or you need to uh, sell at, you know, X amount of profit, which would incentivize them to put up more attractive looking listings with better pictures um, so that they would stand out. Um, so my take on it was, the eBay team probably got their hands on these things somehow, either by accident or through like conniving to get access to them, decided to sell them, probably thought they were doing the company a favor by making way more money on these things. And, uh, and that's, I probably not, I, like, I know the guy that runs MSI USA and like, he's a good guy. Like, I don't, I, <laughs> I don't think there's any way that he would have known anything about this. Um, the the like yeah. one one of the weird things that I saw was and it was actually posted by Spartaman sixty four yeah um a huge poster on the LTT forum but it's a it's an Amazon link to the seller details of Starlet Partner yeah and their detailed seller information has their business name as MSI Computer Corp yes and their business address as like City of Industry blah 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 yes but that could have potentially been faked at least over the short absolutely. term absolutely the thing yeah. that made me pretty sure was that they'd existed for so long and had so many reviews with that address listed like clearly someone would have had to return something at some point and someone would have noticed that like right. um you know the address doesn't match Where is or this whatever graphics card coming from yeah so i figured it was as simple as the the eBay all oh, right so back to my anecdote um, so NCIX, they, they were a small hole in the wall computer shop, but they were also like a national chain. And I was like, I'm gonna let you in on something. Our eBay store, which was how we got rid of a lot of the open box and refurbished items or dead stock items that we just couldn't promote in a, in a more conventional way, had one guy running it, Tim. And if you called the number, you got Tim's voicemail. And <laughs> my friend's like, really? And I'm like, yeah. Like that doesn't surprise me at all. Like not one bit. So on the one hand- like even, even companies that do like the, the numbers that you pushed back then, like a lot of times you're doing so many things that that sections, especially small sections, they're, they're very likely ran by just one person with very little oversight. And exactly, that's the thing is like, you could look at it and go, no, there, there, there's no way MSI wouldn't know about this. Like, okay. NCIX was a relatively small partner of MSI back in the day. And this relatively small partner, I would be ordering anywhere from 300 to like 800 video cards a week. MSI is not noticing like four graphics cards being sold on the eBay store. This, this is a rounding error for a business of that magnitude. So it's like, yeah, we can go all conspiracy theory, tinfoil hat, like, oh yeah, they were profiteering. Get real. That's not, that, that's not realistic. Anyone with the, with the foresight uh, to make actual business decisions wouldn't have time to deal with whatever the eBay guys are doing and also would know better than to get caught selling graphics cards for double the price. So that, that, that was my take on it. Um, I actually have not kept up uh, with what anyone else has said about it. So I don't know. I don't know if, I don't know if whoever I was talking to, I don't know if they've come out and said they were talking to me about it. I don't know what ended up actually happening for sure. But um, yeah, I just, oh, apparently I was, okay, no, apparently I was mentioned by name. So I was talking to Steve about it. Uh, apparently uh, Steve from Gamers Nexus did talk about our conversation. So how did that turn out? You guys will have to let me know in the chat. Uh, I, I didn't actually watch it. I was busy making my own videos. Yeah. Uh, I, I, it, it makes sense to me that like the dude that runs the eBay thing was like, hey, I can like make my numbers look better. I yep. don't know. I wouldn't, wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Uh, people are like MSI admitted it. Yeah, what do you mean MSI admitted what? That was never that was never a question for me. Starlit Partner was definitely MSI. Um, so apparently, uh, the the net, 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 Steve basically called customer support before he started contacting his Taiwan contacts. Man, Steve goes hardcore. Steve goes hardcore. I love Steve. <laughs> it's like yeah, I'm I'm like I'm gonna learn Chinese so that I can like <laughs> talk to the real engineers and stuff. Like, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I love so that guy. Legit. I love that guy. Um, 
So people aren't saying that uh, they wouldn't want to risk something like that for such a small amount of money. Uh, someone on Twitter said something like Linus did about how they're so big they wouldn't want to risk something like that for a small amount of money. Jay said, go away, the adults are talking. Now that's, uh, I, I strongly disagree with Jay's sentiment there. Everyone that I know at MSI who actually is in a position of authority has way more common sense. Like, you have no idea the kind of impact that it would be on MSI's business for them to be doing something like that and get caught by a partner like NVIDIA. NVIDIA holds so much power over their partners and has made it very, very clear. Um, apparently, TechLink said it wasn't MSI. Oh, bloody hell, you guys. I, I, I'm sorry, I did a not look at that A perfect example of not every single part of a company having perfect oversight from the CEO all the yeah, time. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> there are things that happen. Um, <laughs> oh man, now I'm all distracted. What was I saying again? Uh, you were talking about uh, J... Oh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA's power. Yes, so yeah. if NVIDIA were to discover that MSI was profiteering off of RTX 3080s, I can pretty much guarantee you, I can guarantee you from my experience dealing with NVIDIA, dealing with their partners, like the amount of fear of NVIDIA that exists in the industry is it's palpable. Um, NVIDIA's actions would go something along these lines. Uh, their quarter's MDF would be either cut or eliminated. Their allocation of future RTX 3080 would be either cut or eliminated for some period of time. Like NVIDIA has the means to make their partners bleed because RTX 3080 chips are effectively like money. They're just money. The more of them that NVIDIA can make right now, the more money NVIDIA can print. Yeah, because like I, I think I'm not the only one getting to this point, but this is this if you can get the stuff, and I mean some of it's not even out yet, but it's coming soon. This is a fantastic time to build a new computer. The last generation of graphics cards was like I've been talking about that for a few shows now. It was it was not very good for a lot of reasons. And the last step of processors was like continually very impressive but still had some wins on the other side. Right now you have like a fantastic card at a great price and yep. a fantastic processor at a great price that are like new, shiny, fancy options. So I suspect a lot of people are trying to get stuff. And like Linus just said, if you can ship it, it just, it's immediate money every time. Fleoner says, uh, Steve basically said that even though the high ups at MSI didn't notice, it was still unacceptable. Yep, sounds about right. Yeah. Um, but it's also the kind of thing that like in fairness to MSI, hasn't come up in a while. When was the last time there was a GPU that was so allocated that weeks after launch, nobody could get one still? It's yeah. been years and years and years. And I mean, that's how that's how new policies get made is you have to kind of come up against an edge case where the existing policy didn't work and you have to fix it. So yeah, NVIDIA carries a huge stick and there there there's no way that anyone who interacts with NVIDIA at all would have approved something like that, but it's definitely uh, a good call that they're putting policies in place to prevent it in the future because it's not acceptable. Like, it's still profiteering even if they didn't know they were doing it. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's not a good thing. I think we're just kind of explaining that, like, the leadership very likely didn't know. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, should still be addressed. Someone in someone in Floatplane chat said, like, there should be refunds or the difference, the difference between the like raised price and the stock price should be sent over. Like those are interesting ideas. Just one thing, I made a mistake. Yeah. Um, the, the, and I want to address it because the I, full plane chat's freaking out and I'm sure all the other chats are freaking out too. Um, so that, that was not a like suggestion. That is what they're doing. Um, they, they have fully, I know you mentioned this, but they fully clarified it was four graphics cards in total in the US only. And they have said that individual customers who purchase these GPUs uh, they offered two. They offered two options to the customers. The customers can return the product and receive a full refund, or a partial refund of the amount paid over MSI's MSRP. Okay. And moving forward, MSI will enforce a stricter policy to avoid a situation like this happening again. Blah blah blah. blah. But yeah. yeah, those were not suggestions. Those were that is specifically what MSI is doing, and I think that that sounds completely acceptable to me. Uh, I, I don't know. Some people are just honestly being kind of stupid about it. Um, Jorah Seboeth uh, says, giving price difference between MSRP and price charged or a refund is not a nice idea. What, what, are you talking, nice what else would you do? 
Like, it, yeah. What, what are you talking about? Dude? If I if I had the cash to throw around on a like very very priced yeah. up graphics card, and someone else probably not even me figured out that it wasn't like that it was technically MSI and they were like being weird annoying scalpers. Yeah. And then I just got a ton of money back. I'd be super stoked. I'd be like, thanks. And if, if I was Thank like personally offended by the fact that that whole situation even happened despite the fact that i bought a scalped graphics card so i don't really know how i have much to say in that situation but if i was i could just return and get all of my money back easy oh hold so on like i see what happened here this was the clone there's two u's in the name so he's insane that's why he's upset about this solution what oh i thought you would i thought this was some star wars lore that you would enjoy wait sorry where where is uh, this? The, the, the username in, uh, on YouTube is Joris Siboth or Kaboth. Or I don't know how to pronounce the oh, last okay. name. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. There so so yeah, I, yeah. I, I was just, I, I, the only reason I responded to the comment was because I wanted to set up that punchline. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I've been, I've been reading Flowplane Chat, yeah, not, I, those, not I, those YouTube plebs. Oh, apparently it's two R's, not two U's. Dang, dang. Maybe I got it wrong. Whatever. I'm okay with it. So Almost. yeah, it's bad and uh, okay. It's over.